Did you know that the same kind of soda can taste differently depending on whether you buy it in the U.S. or Mexico? Weird, right? That's because the U.S. uses corn syrup as their sweetener, while Latin America uses sugarcane. Interesting how people from different nationalities have different customs, right? Now, you're probably wondering which one tastes better. And really, there's only one way to find out. Well, that's amazing. <clears throat> oh, that's equally amazing. Hmm. But what if... Oh! Jackpot! <laughs> that hit the money. Hola, mi gente! I'm Juan. Last video, we asked the question, ¿Quién soy yo? and learn how to ask and answer questions about our identity in Spanish, as in, yo soy bilingüe. Tú eres artista. Él es profesor. Today, we'll focus on one specific aspect about our identity, our nationality. Our nationality is the place we claim as our homeland, either by birth or by living in a country long enough. It's the place we call our home. Some people like myself can even have multiple nationalities. And De donde eres? Where are you from? It's a classic question everyone asks when they meet somebody new. And it's no coincidence. Our birthplace is a crucial part of our identity. And to answer this question, I'm sure you already thought about where you were born or where you live. Both are right. Soy de Chile. Chi, chi, chi. Le, le, le. Viva Chile. Soy de Honduras. Soy de Mexico. O Soy de los Estados Unidos. Today we'll learn some interesting facts about a couple of really cool Spanish-speaking countries. We'll also build on what we studied about our previous lesson and learn how to ask and answer questions about nationality. That way, when people ask, because trust me, they will ask, you'll be able to tell them where you're from. Now, before we start, make sure you have a sheet of paper to take notes during the lesson. You will need it later. Now, are you ready? Vámonos! Okay, mi gente, I got my suitcase, I got my swimsuit, and I got my chanclas. We're about to go visit three of the coolest countries on the planet. The first has an amazing motto. It's just like Hakuna Matata, but on the rainforest. The second is the land of potatoes. And no, it's not Ireland, if that's what you're thinking. And finally, the third country we're visiting today has produced some of the greatest soccer players in history. Let's see if you can guess them right. Oye, ¿de dónde eres? Soy de Costa Rica. Our first country today is Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a small country located in Central America between Nicaragua and Panama. It is the most environmentally friendly country in Latin America because of how much they value and protect their immense biodiversity. Costa Ricans also really know how to enjoy life. Their Pura Vida motto, which translates into pure or simple life, is all about focusing on the positive things, valuing family over work, and just taking it easy. Maybe that's why the peninsula of Nicoya in Costa Rica is one of five blue zones in the world. A place where people live over 100 years old. Wow! I think I'm going to move to Costa Rica. Pura vida! Pam! <laughs> ¿De dónde eres? Soy de Perú. Our second country is... Peru. Peru is located in South America and shares borders with Ecuador, Colombia, shout out to the homeland, Brazil, Bolivia, and Chile. The first thing you need to know is that Peruvians love their food. From ceviche, Peru's national dish, to stir fries, rotisserie chicken, and 4,000 native varieties of potatoes. Yes, people, contrary to popular belief, Ireland is not the land of potatoes, it's Peru. Peru's heritage is a fusion of indigenous Peruvian people, Spanish, African, and Asian cultures. This unique mix of heritage is especially evident in their food. I know what you're thinking, Asians in Peru? Yes! Peru has a huge Asian descendant population, especially Japanese and Chinese. 
They even have their own version of sushi called tiradito and their own Chinese fried rice called chaofa. No wonder why it's currently the world's number one food destination. Finally, we cannot talk about Peru without mentioning Machu Picchu. Once home to the mighty Incan Empire, this ancient city is one of the most well-preserved wonders of the world and the top touristic attraction in Peru. Okay, I'm gonna go get some chaofa. All this food is making me hungry. Hi! Eres Argentina? Si, sí, soy de Argentina. Yes, people, our third country is Argentina. Argentina covers most of the southern part of South America and shares borders with Chile, Bolivia, Paraguay, Brazil, and Uruguay. Argentina is the land of tango, the dance of love, and yerba mate, a black herbal tea, both which are as crucial to the Argentinian identity as football, or soccer as Americans like to call it. Argentina's love of football is out of this world. There are hundreds of clubs with thousands of supporters, and it is a vibrant demonstration of the passion that connects the Argentinian people. Soccer legends like Maradona and Lionel Messi were born in Argentina. This beautiful country also gifted the world with many inventions that we still use today, like the first ever radio transmission, the first animated feature films, which were an inspiration for Walt Disney, and it was the first country to ever use fingerprints to solve crimes. So, thank you, Argentina. I can't imagine our lives without Disney movies, and we owe it all to you. Now, if you ever go to Argentina, prepare to eat some steak dinner at 10 p.m. because Argentinians love to eat late, and they are the kings of asado, or barbecue, as Americans like to call it. So, tango, football, and asado. What an amazing combination. Now that we know a little about some amazing Spanish-speaking countries, let me give you a tool that's going to help you break the ice and ask people about their nationalities. To ask someone informally where they're from, we say, De donde eres? Say it with me. De donde eres? And to answer that question, we say, Soy de plus the country. For example, if you're from the U.S., you would say, Soy de Los Estados Unidos. Come on, say it with me. Soy de los Estados Unidos. Now, you try saying it on your own. Now, if you want to ask where is he from or where is she from, then you say, de donde es él for a man. Repeat after me. De donde es él and de donde es ella for a woman. Your turn. De donde es ella. Now, let's assume that the man is from El Salvador and that the woman is from Venezuela. Then, to answer the question, de donde es él would be, él es de El Salvador. He is from El Salvador. And to answer the question, de donde es ella would be, ella es de Venezuela. She is from Venezuela. Does any of this sound familiar to you? Well, that's because it is. As you learned last class, you can use the verb ser to ask and answer questions about people's identity. Let's see how you can use the verb ser to ask and answer questions about people's nationalities. If you want to ask if someone is from Chile, you can ask them, ¿Eres de Chile? Go ahead and repeat that question. ¿Eres de Chile? Which he could answer, Sí, soy de Chile. Or, no, no soy de Chile. Now you try saying it with me. Sí, soy de Chile. No, no soy de Chile. Let's see another example. Él es de Honduras? No, él no es de Honduras. Él es de Nicaragua. ¿Ella es de México? Sí, ella es de México. Let's practice some of these together. What would you say about a guy who's from the Dominican Republic? La República Dominicana. Él es de la República Dominicana. But what is he not from there? What would you say then? Él no es de la República Dominicana. Remember that I'm from Colombia? Therefore, yo soy de Colombia. 
What about my sister Maria, who's also from Colombia? What would you say about her? Maria is de Colombia. Or, ella is de Colombia. Now, remind me, if you were born in los Estados Unidos, how would you answer the question, de donde eres? Soy de los Estados Unidos. Good job! Now, let's review what we learned today. First, we got to learn some pretty interesting information about some Spanish-speaking countries. Costa Rica, Peru, and Argentina. After that, we worked on our Spanish skills to ask someone about their nationality with De Donde Eres. Finally, we learned to answer that question with the formula Soy de plus the country or El, Ella, Es, De plus the country. And that's it for today. We made it! <laughs> but remember, the more you practice, the better you get out speaking Spanish. Until then, I'll see you next class. Ciao! Nos vemos. Hey.